guys, welcome back to Kirby and Shay. In today's video, we're going to be, um, what are we doing? We're going <laughs> to be reading Harry Potter fan fiction. No, what are we And reading? if we want, we'll act it out. I guess you'll find out during the video. If want. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got my laptop. We're going to pull up Wattpad. So we're going to read and critique it. And then if we think it's funny enough, we're going to act some parts out too. Just throw them in throughout the video. So yeah. If you guys find any fan fictions you'd like us to read and react to slash act, just comment them down below. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. Okay, so we found one. It's the first one. I just read in Harry Potter fanfic short stories. Familiarity of Water. Oh. It's a Draco, Malfoy, and Reader. It's only one little part. It's a short story. Eight, eight reads. I'm standing by the entrance to the boathouse, and the water's swishing rhythmically against the wooden poles of the pier. Pier? Pier! Pier. The boats <laughs> rope to the weathered poles, knock into each other, seemingly having a mind of their own. In the darkness, the water seems to merge with the horizon. The Scottish Highland peaks are usually dominating the visible terrain or nowhere to be found at this time of night. The little peaks of the waves occasionally reflect the moonlight, glimmering as though they were composed of liquid luck. This is written really well. The details. I tilt my head back. <laughs> I feel the cool cobblestone of the boathouse wall press on to my back. Into my back? Comfortably. <laughs> From the corner of my eye, I can see my school, or rather my home. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The impressive spires seem to reach endlessly into the sky. The points blur into the, into the darkness, jeweled with sparkling stars. Warm and biting yellow lights emanate the windows dot window dot windows dot the towers beneath the spires each one promising a different story behind the same glass that was a round sentence i think faintly oh so faintly i can hear the peaceful ambiance is disturbed when i hear footsteps drawing near hitting the pavement oh, right. <laughs> hitting the pavement <laughs> right evenly i frown and draco malfoy stands before me with a hopeful and somewhat nervous expression Quite unlike the usual smug grin he wears. I chuckle quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Draco clears his throat and speaks. <laughs> and speaks. I think you should be Draco, because you're never the man. Fine! <laughs> I'll be the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're Draco. What, Draco? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what year? It makes, it makes a difference. Hey, Shay. I hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> scare you! Can I... Can I join you? <laughs> I stared wide-eyed for a second. <laughs> Before my conscious thoughts had time to react, I found myself nodding silently. Draco walked over and slid his back down the wall next to me. I was acutely aware of how close... <laughs> he was... <laughs> I can feel the warmth from his body radiating towards mine. I take a deep breath and say, Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I turn to face Draco in front of him already looking at me. <laughs> he tilts his head at the slide slightly as if to consider what I said and replies, It is. I should come down here more often. <laughs> often. <laughs> we both fell silent listening to the lapping of the waves around us. <laughs> Don't make that sound. Laughing, bring it up. <laughs> See? I think I've liked Jacob since first year, so it's not first year. Okay. The first time we met was at the Slytherin table in the Great Hall. I had just been sorted into Slytherin and was nervously making my way to the table when I saw him patting the empty space on the bench beside him while gesturing to me. It was the first friend I made, Draco. For some reason, he seemed to grow much more distant in recent years from everyone. I miss talking to him so much. Dragging my mind back to the present, <clears throat> I focus my eyes on his, his. Oops. On his! <laughs> I focus my eyes on his, brown, medium blue. I never had much of a chance to look up, look at his face up close. 
I suppose that you, he was your first <laughs> friend. You don't know what his face looks like? <laughs> I suppose I was too scared. I only left myself study it intently from afar in classes that I knew his attention would be elsewhere. However, at this moment, it feels right. It's odd, really. His eyes are startlingly, startlingly blue, but not cold in the slightest. The deep blue is mesmerizing and yet somewhat, somewhat Melancholic. melancholic. As well, yearning, perhaps. His expression wrinkles into a warm smile, and I find mine doing the same, exploring the rest of his face. He followed his jawline, strong and undoubtedly masculine, narrowing down to the point of his chin. His blonde hair falls delicately, <laughs> delicately on his forehead, ruffled and messy, endearingly so. I imagine my fingertips tracing his features, outlining his face and com uh, committing to every inch into memory. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Accidentally, that's what I'm gonna know, I left my hand drift up to his face. <laughs> the pads on my fingers connecting with his cheek. Man, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> then my brain kicks in and I recoil in horror. <laughs> as though electrocuted. <laughs> Scared that Draco would leave in disgust, as there is no way I could be enough to him to love me back. I open my mouth to utter an apology, but as I do, he suddenly leans in, and my heart skips a beat. Lips meet lips. Brown means blue lips. Draco's hands fly up to my face. <laughs> he is a slapper! My hands up and let my fingers run through his hair freely. I feel him smile against me. I can't help but smile, too. Finally, <laughs> after what seems like an eternity, we part breathlessly. You're playing both roles right now. <laughs> I'm just going... Man. Draco looks at me sheepish, sheepishly. You have no idea. That's you. Oh, you have no idea how long I have wanted to do that. Acting 10 out of 10. If I don't say so myself. The library. Part 1. I was sat in the library trying to finish my essay for Miss McGonagall. That is not me for McGonagall. McGonagall. <laughs> McGonagall's class. It was dark outside, but the candlelit table made it easy to see. I could feel my hand getting heavy, and my eyes drifting off slowly. I began packing away my quill and books, but was interrupted by a familiar voice. You're leaving already, Shay? <laughs> a deep and slightly croaky voice says into my ear. Oh, into my ear. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Listen, it's getting late, and... I felt a firm grip on my arm before I could finish my sentence. <laughs> I looked down to see Draco's black rings on his fingers clutch onto my arm. Well, black nails. <laughs> Leaving tiny red marks on my wrist. Draco! How fucking dare you! What the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I'm recording. He says, moving his veiny hand higher up on my neck and pushing me forcibly onto the table. No, my... <laughs> <laughs> my breath quickens. <laughs> I see his grip becomes tight and more harsh. Draco tilts his head to the side and whispers into my ear. That's my line again. <laughs> you should think before you speak. Is that clear, Shay? His deep toned anger sending shivers down my spine. He removes his head from my neck slowly and travels down to my body, getting lower and lower. <laughs> his hand grabs onto my upper thigh. And before he reaches my heat, he pushes me even further onto the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I just burped you. His eyes fill with lust and frustration. <laughs> I stare into his eyes as he brings his hands toward my heat, making me immediately wet. Immediately. <laughs> to be continued. Thank you for watching! Well, that was so fun! Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> why am I so fucking aggressive? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big <laughs> like, thumbs up. Like, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget subscribe to our personal yeah. channels. Subscribe to our personal channels, Live in the Now and Epic Kirby. They'll be linked down below. Don't forget to live in the now. Remember to follow your dreams. And we'll see you guys next time. Get the fuck out. <laughs>